Being a first time chicken owner, you may go through trial and error. If you have a backyard and you have other animals, you have to make certain that you have a secure place for each one of your animals or what happened to my mom can happen to you. Once her chicks were old enough to go outside, she put them in the backyard. Later, she got puppies. So she put the puppies and the chicks together thinking they will be one big happy family. Soon, her chicks began to disappear one by one until she realized that her dogs were eating her chickens. Henrietta the chicken, the only surviving chicken. She was so afraid to get on the ground level with those dogs, she stayed on this table and chair. Eventually, her wounds healed. She had no more pain and she began to become comfortable again. Either she was comfortable or she was careless. But she got down and she began to walk in the backyard right next to the dogs, the same killers that killed the other three chickens. Henrietta is just out in the backyard. I'm not sure if she wants to commit suicide or what, but she no longer has fear and she's blending in with the dogs all over again. She even began to sleep next to the dog. But we knew it was only a matter of time before Henrietta the chicken would be eaten just like the other chicks. So it was time for my mom to build a chicken coop. After building a nice secure home for Henrietta, my mom decided to get new chicks and start over the right way with the chicks secure away from any other animals that can kill them. As a new chicken owner, my mom learned her lesson. Stay tuned to see her explain her experience and also stay tuned for an upcoming video that will show exactly how her homemade chicken coop was built. Do not get them if you're interested until you have a place to put them. That has been a major concern. Have the coop ready. So with all the catastrophes happen with not having a coop ready, it has caused me to lose chicks. That chick is one of four. My little dogs over there ate three of them. Made me playing with one and and maybe taste the blood and then just started killing it. So that's all I have left of my little four baby chicks. But I have new ones. And these chicks, so if they're about four days old when they come to the store, I, I might say a week. Then I just got them yesterday and day before. I got some day before went back and got a few more over here. Now, coming here, uh, some of them be stressed out on the road or driving, shifting around, and I lost one. And so, uh, these chicks are called long leg, leg horn, I'm sorry, leg horn. And they're just the cutest little pretty chicks. <laughs> They're cute as could be. And uh, let's see if you get a good look at them. Turn around. Turn around to the camera. Look at cute. Oh, just so cute. Just fit in the palm of your hands. So they are in the little bucket and screened in because you're not supposed to mix big chicken bigger chicken because she's still a baby uh with the baby chicks get back and so they're in here pine shaving their uh chick starter food and then they will uh move on i'm gonna have to make a little temporary coop so they can actually be around this big chick 